Freddie Mac and Minnie May were bailed out the other day when they warned that they were going broke. So George Bush listed reasons but didn't dare call up malfeasance and grinned and lied and winked when he spoke. When he joked of all the enterprise zones, he realized that most homes owned were stolen back by banks who couldn't care less. When he joked of all the enterprise zones, he realized that most homes owned were stolen back by banks under duress. And the banks stole from the people. Yes, the banks stole from us. With all the money going to the rich, it's so hard to find our niche, and that is why we're all in this mess. But the taxpayers can and will step up, and probably will pay this bill, and Bush will disappear to Texas. He said, CEOs must sign and swear that all their books are being fair, but the banks were getting such high marks. He said, CEOs must sign and swear that all their books are being fair, but the banks were really just loan sharks. Yes, the banks stole from the people, and the banks stole from us. With all of their predatory lending, Bush's banks claimed they were spending money helping people buy new homes. Something stinks and something smelling, every home and every dwelling was bought with faulty bank loans. This silly, stupid, risky scheme has ransacked the American dream, and there's just a little bit more. This silly, stupid, risky scheme has ransacked the American dream and it's not something we can ignore. That the banks stole from the people. Yes, the banks stole from us. Bush's banks and all collusions are part of his own self-delusions as he tries to even every score. We all know who to finger and blame for bringing us American shame and rewriting the Constitution's core. Although the banks were not insured, we've all just endured. All the banks were stealing from the poor. Although the banks were not insured, we've all just endured. All the banks were stealing from the poor. Yes, the banks stole. Yes, the banks stole from us. Merrill Lynch and Lehman Brothers, Wamu too, and there'll be others. Banks that are all going bust. George Bush claimed that he knew best, but he couldn't pass his econ test, and he was not someone we could trust. The problem is there's no oversight, right is wrong and wrong is right and that can lead to a great depression. The problem is with no oversight, right is wrong and wrong is right and we're headed for a great recession. That the banks stole from the people, yes the banks stole from us. Yes, the banks stole from the people, and the banks stole from